ethos of Trek. Well, I want the label to be open-minded. I don't want to be genre specific or even like sub-genre specific. A lot of labels are like so, so niche. And that's amazing. I love a lot of labels like that. They, they, they have a very particular sound. You can tell that is on that label and they, uh, they're like masters of that craft and they refine it and they push that forward and that's amazing. But with Trick, I'm trying not to take that approach. Hope it's not become a jack of all trades, master of none type scenario. Hopefully it's not like that. It's more just like a tastemaker label where it can be eclectic and it can have house, techno, disco, trance, hard techno, hard house, tech house, house, like loads of different stuff like that. So that's what, but I guess linking it all together, it's just a kind of energy that connects them all, not being too worried about genres really, kind of a reflection of what I try to do with my DJ sets. Well, the first one was myself. I did, I did three EPs of, of, from me because I, I had been, not exclusive, but predominantly released on Hot Creations at that point, and my sound had been known uh, very particular for Tech House House because of that. Because even though I'd been making other stuff, that label, one of my favourite labels, and I'm so glad I was able to release with them, but they want stuff which fits their particular sound. So that's part of the reason I started Trick. So I, I think my first release on Trick was a track called Watch What You're Doing, and it was just like a tool, really. It was just like electronic noise. It was like techno. And it was just kind of to like wipe the kit slate clean and be like, it's not just in that pigeonhole. We're going to do all sorts. And then I've went on to release music from loads of labels. Like one of the things I'm really proud about it is we've done the first release of so many artists. Of like Hugh McVicker put his first music out on the label. Well, most of them come to me via the demos. They send in emails and uh, I listen to all the demos myself. So most of them are from that way. Some of them are kind of recommendations of a friend of a friend and stuff. And then like Ben Hemsley, we didn't release his first stuff, but I was the first DJ to be playing his stuff. If I had Trick at the time, I would have released his music first. So there's a artists where like, I be, might not release their music first, but being the first promoter to like, give them a residency or regular slots and all that. So I'm really, uh, Really proud of that type of stuff. Right, well, most of the demos I get on Trick are, are trying to sound like Tell Me Something Good or moving all around. Like, ever since Tell Me Something Good, they're just copies of that. And to me, that like doesn't really impress us. It's like, I'm always looking for the next thing, not just a rehash of a song on Trick. You know what I mean? So I guess my main bit of advice is to just be yourself and if, if something's exciting you, even though you haven't heard other things like it, then you're probably onto a winner there. Don't think it needs to sound like what everyone else is doing. In terms of artists, I would love something from Dennis Sulter. He's a huge influence on mine as a DJ. And on Trick generally, I guess, because he's quite a fearless DJ and me and him have done back to backs and that's kind of the thing that set me off on this path of being more eclectic is people like him. And he said to us once, never compromise your art. And it always struck a chord with us. It stuck in my head. And sometimes when I'm like, is that a little bit out there? I'm like, I go back to that, that idea. I'd wanted to start it for years. I'd wanted to start my own record label and event uh, brand for years. Like my management were going, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Like if it was up to me, I would have started about five years earlier. But to be honest, I'm glad that we did wait because it's better to just, I was just eager, you know what I mean? I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to curate lineups, I wanted to put out music, like organize my own events and stuff like that. But they were like, wait. And to be honest, I couldn't think of a name for ages as well. So that took that literally about two year delay. I would have start, I would have probably started two years earlier if I had a name, but I mean, it was like, right hiding in plain sight, you know what I mean? I was like reading dictionaries, watching my favorite films, doing all types of research online, trying to get a name. Yeah, just going down the rabbit hole with all these like convoluted names and all this. And then um, Trick, which is basically Patrick, it's my name. And then like you can, you can get different meanings from, from that as well. But yeah, it, it did take years to, to get the name. <laughs>